you know it's going to be a good day when you get an Obi-Wan Kenobi toy. And I mean, what can I say? There's so many to choose from. We got the Star Wars Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, specifically the Jabim version. Because he also comes in the Wandering Jedi. We have the Tibidon Station, which is only at Target. And then my personal favorite, the Jedi Legend. But, again, I love the Jabim version because this is the Obi-Wan who is Space Jesus Ultimate to the 110th degree. Because here he is next to his packaging and he looks beautiful. This is the Obi-Wan Kenobi that you want in your collection. These Jedi robes have a much darker tint to them, which I really like, whether you want to look at it as practically or symbolically of him living in Tatooine. But, I mean, it looks like Ewan McGregor, and that's a hard feat to come across in itself. This is one of those toys where Obi-Wan has always been a very important character to me, so to be able to showcase him in the Black Series in a new form, older, more refined, it's great. On top of that, he comes with a little, you know, cloth cape thing. And it's weird because it doesn't have the actual arms, but you could stick them through and it's good enough. Keep the sand out of him because, as you know, there's a lot of sand on Tatooine. But he doesn't really need it because he comes with two awesome accessories. First of all, he comes with an actual blaster because in the show, you see him take down fools if they step across. But on top of that, he has his trusted lightsaber. And with this lightsaber, you have the beautiful crimson blue, you put it on the hilt, and just like that, very simply, you have the standard Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. Here he is in comparison with my other Obi-Wan Kenobi from the same series. This is the Wandering Jedi. And as you can see, he's a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more casual wear as he goes out. Uh, more fuller in the color of his cheeks. And his attire really showcases him, again, being a wanderer. Whereas with the Jabim version, he can really see a sense of his old Jedi ways. Which is important because this is the moment where Obi-Wan comes back as that Jedi Master. As he goes forth and he takes on his last apprentice. Overall, this is a really good Obi-Wan Kenobi. And now I can start my Council of Obi-Wans. <laughs>